doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make smoked beer cheese brat burgers. Boy, that's a mouthful. So, I love a good bratwurst living in Wisconsin. You know, don't get me wrong. But my local butcher here, Jamie Meat, had these bratwurst patties, but they put that uh, cheese in there as well. And you know what? I'm going to make a brat burger. I'm going to do some onions, some sauerkraut. I got some spicy brown mustard. We're going to make this just like a bratwurst, but on a burger. I've never tried this before. It sounds kind of weird, but hey, hopefully it's going to be delicious. So stick around, guys. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Alright, so we want to put some smoke on these brat patties before we do anything else. So, uh, yeah, I got some hickory and cherry wood in this Monument Grills smoker box, which is designed to fit, like, right here. So I'm just going to put the grate back on there. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to just turn this side over here on low just to kind of get this heated up and get some smoke. Because I want to allow a little bit of time. I'll put the patties over here. Get those going. But first we got to slice up an onion. But one thing at a time. There we go. We'll put it on low. Alright guys. Meet you inside. Alright so I sliced up a couple yellow onions here. Got a couple tablespoons of butter. We're going to put on here. And I'm just adding some like all purpose, you know, seasoning, the holy trilogy of seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic. This is the Grillaholics. I'll leave a link below, guys, if you want to go check them out. I got a discount code. But yeah, just a little bit of this, not too crazy. And I'm just going to put this out there just to kind of soften these onions up a little bit. We're going to add some sauerkraut and a beer later because ap after all, these are beer brats, okay? But in a burger form. So, there we are, guys. Meet you guys outside. Alright, guys, here's the star of the show. The beer cheese brat patty from j and &E Meats, my local butcher. I'll leave a link below to their Facebook page. But, man, this just basically has the bratwurst, the pork, and this high-melt cheddar cheese. And some, you know, the bratwurst spices. Yeah, I mean, perfect. And we're going to cook those onions on there. A little bit of sauerkraut, mustard. Hope, hoping this is going to turn out like a bratwurst burger. I mean, that's what I'm going for, but I've never tried this, but man, doesn't it look good? I put it on a rack here because it'll make it easy to, you know, take it on and off the smoker. Or actually, it's not a smoker. It's my gas grill that I'm turning into a smoker. I just did a video on uh, how to do that. I'll leave a link below as well, but all right, guys, I'll meet you outside. All right, guys, let's see if we got a little bit of smoke here. I think we do. Oh yeah, see, we got smoke coming right over there, which is perfect. All right, guys, so here are these wonderful burgers. I'm going to keep them over here because I don't really want them to cook. I just want them to absorb some smoke. Here we got those uh, sliced onions with a little bit of butter and seasoning. These we can put a little closer because I want this to melt and I want these to soften up. So there we go, guys. Not too complicated. I'm going to try to let this go. I just got that one burner on high, so I'll monitor the temperature. I'm just going to look, get a little bit of smoke on this. Soften up those onions. Man, be back in a minute. All right, guys, while those uh, brat patties are smoking, time for a drink. I'm having a new fall release from Line and Google's Sunset Wheat. It has blueberry and citrus flavors, 4.9% alcohol. I tried their Red Lager, that's also a fall release, and uh, their Oktoberfest. And this is my son Kyle, say hi. Hello. He's trying Red Ribbon Mint Ginger Ale, Pinpoint Carbonation. Where is this from? Pittsburgh? P Pittsburgh. Wow. All right, I don't know anything about that. I'm sure Kyle doesn't either. <laughs> but that's what he all about it. <laughs> I know. That's your favorite, right, of all time? Is it it's a burger. Is it Twistle? Mm. 
It's been around 45 minutes. Let's take a look here. Ooh, I can see some smoke on those uh, br brat patties. These onions are starting to soften up very nicely. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of sauerkraut and some of that juice in here. Put these to the side here. Kind of soften these up as we cook. You know what? I might check. I might put more wood chips. We're going to flip these too. I'll be back in a second, guys. Thanks, Kraut. They're from the East Coast. We're going to pour a little bit of that sauerkraut juice in there. Yeah, see? And the only thing left to do is to add a little beer because you know what bratwurst whether they're in a sausage or a burger i'm gonna add a oh can you see i got a can of uh pabst blue ribbon room temperature i bought a 30 pack so i kept this one out of the fridge yeah look guys not very complicated, but boy, oh boy, I'm hoping this is good as I think it's going to be. <laughs> At least I'm hoping. All right, you know what I'm, I'm going to do as well? 
I'm gonna flip these patties because I just think they need to whoopsie there we go they need to absorb some smoke from the other side well, I love that high temp cheese doesn't melt when we're just smoking it right now I can tell that definitely that we got some smoke flavor you see it's like changing color here let's get this one first because guys there we go hovering around 300 degrees just let it go be back in a minute all right guys here we go wow looking good I'm sure it's not up to temperature but the sauerkraut and the onions and the beer oh man coming along perfectly all right, I'm just going to give this a couple more minutes and then we'll take off the onions and sauerkraut and we'll sear these uh, patties and assemble these uh, brat burgers. Be back in a minute. All right, let's check out how things are going here. All right, this is going great. It's reducing down. I'm going to move it over to the far right. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take this uh, rack we'll put it right over there just for now and then we'll uh, heat this side up and we'll sear these burgers and then uh, add some cheese and we'll be ready guys be back in a minute let's see how we're doing here I put the burgers over here turn this up on high oh yeah you can look at it Ooh. Get these grates nice and hot. We're going to sear these uh, beer cheese brat burgers from J&E Meats right over here for a few minutes. Man, let's give this another two, three minutes. Be back in a second. All right, guys, we got plenty of smoke on these. Ooh, it's hot over here on this side. We're going to sear these for a minute or two on each side, and then dinner. Whoop. <laughs> Get these two out. This is a blooper. Right, come on. I'll get you over here. There we go. I'm going to just like sear these for a couple minutes on each side and dinner is served. Be back in a minute, guys. Alright, guys, it's been a couple minutes. Woo! Alright, let's, uh, Flip these burgers. Oh. Jamie meats look like they scored again on these. Look at these things, man. Wow. The cheese, high temp cheese on there. Oh. All right, guys, I got two kinds of cheese. We're going to start with provolone. Oh, I didn't know what kind of cheese would work best with a brat burger, but I thought provolone would probably be in the top one or two choices. We'll put a nice big slice of provolone. 
And then of course, the other cheese I picked, I, I think you guys kind of know what I would pick. Some Swiss cheese. I'm gonna top this with the, some of that uh, mustard, some of this onions and simmering in the beer with the sauerkraut. Oh my God, guys. Bratwurst burgers. Wow. All right. Onions and sauerkraut. Ooh, double cheese, provolone and Swiss on these uh, bratwurst cheese burgers. Okay, we got to put a little bit of sauerkraut and a little bit of that uh, sautéed onion on each burger. And of course, we got to put some uh, some of that stone ground mustard because that's what you normally would have on a bratwurst, right, guys? Well, at least that's what I have on a bratwurst. Mm-hmm. A little bit of onion, a little bit of sauerkraut, warmed up, a little bit of smoke flavor on that. Wow, look at this, guys. Man, oh, man. And now let's uh, put a little bit of some high-quality stone ground mustard. Whew. All right, guys, put these tops on, huh? A we'll be back in a second. Ooh, put that top on. There we go. Be back in a minute. All right, welcome back. I'm here with my family, my son Kyle, my Hello. wife Monica. Hey. Okay, grab one of these. This one. One of these bad boys. These yeah. are big. Oh. Right. Bratwurst smoked. <laughs> what was it? Smoked cheese bratwurst burgers? Mm hmm Beer cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Smoked beer cheese brat burgers. Smoked beer cheese brat burgers. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are from JD Meats, wait a Mm. Okay. I like it. Can you taste a little bit of smoke flavor on the broth? Mmm. Not so much a smoke flavor. No? Okay. No, but the flavor is good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can tell by the color. What about you, Kyle? Just a little bit of smoke flavor. Do you taste smoke or no? I can. Hmm? Just like a little bit, not a much. This is fine. It's good. No, it's very good. Oh. Mm. Because you don't want it overpowering. Mmm. What do you think, Kyle? It's okay. good. I'm. I, I do think what you said that it is smoky. Okay. In a good way? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Now, how does this compare to having a bratwurst? Well, would you rather have a bratwurst or rather have a bratwurst mm -hmm. burger? This is better. I'd rather have a bratwurst. Uh, you would? But does this taste yeah. like a bratwurst to you? No, it's the same stuff as in one. Mm-hmm. No, I like this better. You like the burger better? Really? Because it's less brat, it's less bratwursty, and it's got the cheese and the more of a combination of the other stuff. No. Mm -hmm. So for me, that that makes me happier. It That's tastes. All. It does taste like a bratwurst, but in no, the it does. Form. But it has the like in a bratwurst, you don't usually have like all that cheese, and I don't know. Some just taste a little different, but for mm -hmm. me, it's. What, like what do you think, Kyle? Would you rather have a bratwurst or a bratwurst burger? No, it's sad. I'd rather have a bratwurst. Okay, well. Not me. But I like a I like it. I like well, a this is good, but I think that nothing beats the original, obviously. I like a bratwurst, too. But this is good. I like the cheese in it. I'm not no, a no. cheese fiend, you know me. No, and J&E put that high temp cheese mm. in there. Add a little extra flavor. No, to me, this mm -hmm. is good. Very good. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But as always, guys, mm, I appreciate you watching my video. If you like it, please hit the like button. The logo on my shirt is on the bottom of the screen. Click on that. You can subscribe to my channel. Please do that. It helps my channel grow. And I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, where I have all my videos, photos, and video links. Go check it out. Wow. Mm -hmm. I've never had a bratwurst burger, but yeah. this is pretty good. I don't know. Is it better than a regular burger or just different, huh? No, better than, well, yeah. It's different. Mm -hmm. It's good. Good when you're watching the Green Bay Packers game. <laughs> when they, never mind. I'm not going to say it. You're not going to say I'm it? I'm going to leave it alone because mm. I don't want to piss off half your viewers. But no. for real. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good uh, game thing to eat. A good game burger for sure. Yeah. Something different. Mm. Mm -hmm. That mustard, sauerkraut, and onions. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perfect combo. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mmm.